Hello everyone, my name is Maddie and welcome back to Tell Aquarium at the Alaska Sea Life Center. For those of you that haven't been with us, we have been doing some pretty great live programming every day at 12 and 2 p.m. Alaska time. Um, and today we're gonna switch it up a little bit for you. So for those of you who have been working at home, um, I have been, many of us have been, it's been really hard for me to find some time to get moving, to give my body a break, to give my mind a break. So today I wanted to give you all a little treat and I'm gonna be leading us through some gentle stretches for our body while also hanging out with um, a really cool stellar sea lion. So we are at our underwater viewing tank for our stellar sea lions. I am joined by my friend Pilot. He's one of our male st uh, stellar sea lions here and hopefully he'll find what we're doing a little bit interesting. Um, he might poke his head around the corner, so fingers crossed for that. But we're gonna go ahead and get started. I also have some little treats and surprises for us along the way. Um, so I'm hoping that this will just be a, a nice, relaxing, and fun break for all of us during our lunchtime. So step number one, we're gonna get started on the floor. So go ahead and take a seat. We're gonna sit in kind of a straddle position, somewhat like a sea star, if you may, if you put your hands like this, pretty exciting. Um, and my surprise for all of you is that I'm also gonna be telling some pretty great jokes along the way, and they will all be ocean related. Um, please let me know if my jokes are doing well because I do have a camera crew, but I'm not gonna be able to really hear if they're laughing or not, so I do, I need some positive reinforcement. Maybe tell me some jokes along the way, our operators can tell them to me, make me laugh. Um, this is gonna be great. Joke number one, everyone. Why don't clams give to charity? You ready? You ready? Because they're shellfish. You're welcome. Many more to come. Um, stretch number one is go ahead, put your arms up like this. We're going to put your right arm underneath, your left arm over, reach over to your right side, and we're just going to stretch out our sides, our obliques, if you may. And then we're going to get back up, put our left arm under, our right arm over, and go this way. And then we're gonna go back up. And this time, we're gonna put both arms to our right side, try and touch that knee to your toe. So, I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret. Tomorrow, we're gonna be teaching about enrichment. So this is actually a form of enrichment for people. Um, go ahead and come back up. Go to your left side. And for those of you that have not heard of enrichment before, I like to call it a way that we challenge um, our animals' bodies or their minds here at the Sea Life Center. So we like to give them something that's a little bit exciting throughout the day, something that stimulates them either mentally or physically. Come back up. And then this one is super fun. We're gonna go straight down the middle like a pancake, and we're just gonna hold it here for a bit. So we like to give them something that breaks up their day a little bit, gives them something new. So this is like human enrichment. We're stretching, so we got some physical um, challenges going on, but hopefully it also just makes your brain feel a little bit better, um, gets those endorphins rushing, um, and just gives you a nice break in the middle of the day. And come back up. And then we're gonna put our feet together like this, and this is called a pike stretch. So from this, you're just gonna lean forward, everyone's favorite thing, touch your toes, get that going. So I don't know if he's been active behind me or not, but the sea lions here at the Alaska Sea Life Center, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this, but they are probably my favorite animal here. Um, I could stand here and watch them all day long. They look like they're magical and just flying through the ocean. Um, and I kind of think of them as, as the dogs of the ocean. I myself am a dog person, so I enjoy them quite a bit. I, my camera operator is shaking his head. We got some cat people in the room. So comment down below, are you a dog person or a cat person? Let us know. <laughs> And then we're gonna transition into a butterfly stretch. So go ahead, pull your feet together, and then we're gonna kind of stretch forward. We're gonna flap our wings a little bit, pretend we're flying places. We, not, we might not be able to travel right now, but this is like a make-believe section. Let's, where do you wanna go? Anywhere in the world. Maybe the Alaska Sea Life Center. It's pretty great here. All right, and then put your toes out a little bit further. Try to touch those nose to those toes as close as you can and come back up. So now we're gonna to transition to a bit of a shoulder stretch. So I'll rotate so you can see me better. Oh, I almost forgot. 
Hey everyone, what does a fish say when he makes a mistake? Any guesses? Any guesses? It was just a fluke. A fluke is a type of fish. But um, great. So go ahead, and you're going to put your hands behind you like this, with your fingers facing your body, and just kind of lean back and let your own body weight stretch it out a little bit. I should have said this at the beginning, but of course, if anything hurts along the way, don't do it. We don't want to make this stressful or painful. This is just a nice relaxing session. So feel free to modify anything that we're doing. I'll give some examples along the way. And then we're going to come back up. Uh, here's Pilot. Hello. We're going to now rotate your fingers facing away from you and stretch again. You should be feeling this in your shoulders. All right. And then this next stretch is something I like to call a superstar stretch. So we're going to pose like a bit of a supermodel. Um, so go ahead, take your right leg, cross it over your left leg, take your left arm, and kind of push it against your knee and just twist. So this will loosen up your back a little bit. You should feel it maybe in your hip flexor. Um, and also, if you put your arm out like this, it's kind of like you're a supermodel posing on the runway. So we'll just stretch it out. And then we'll go ahead and do that on the other side as well. If your guys' backs are cracking, mine is too. All right. And then we're going to come back here. And then our next stretch is going to be called a figure four stretch. So go ahead and lay down on your back like this. And then you're going to bring your feet. You're going to put your left ankle on your right knee like this and then pull your leg in. And so your leg kind of makes a figure four shape, maybe, potentially. And then pull it in, and then you should be feeling this in your hip flexor. And then after a few moments of this position, go ahead and switch your legs. And then we're going to stretch out our right hip flexor. I think this is one of my favorite stretches. All right, go ahead and pop back up into that pike position. Now we're going to roll out our ankles a little bit. This one's pretty simple. You're just going to cross your leg over and just simply manually roll out your ankles. Get them moving a little bit. Sometimes they get tight. Wave hello to our friend Pilot. He's not super interested in what we're doing yet, but he's definitely taking note. And then go ahead and switch legs. All right, so this next stretch is sort of a modified downward dog, maybe downward sea lion, if you will, keeping it on today's theme. But before we do that, everyone, what did the carp say to his crush? You ready? You ready? Don't play koi with me. Koi, again, another type of fish. Thank you. Thank you very much. I think I got my camera operator on that one. He's losing it. I don't have a laugh track, so I need something. Well, do we have any, has anyone told any jokes in the live stream yet? Any, no comments? All right, I'm waiting. I'm ready to laugh. So, we're gonna, no, we're gonna go into our downward sea lion, if you will. So go ahead and make a bit of a mountain pose, and then start pedaling your feet back and forth. So we're stretching out our calves. So we're just gonna push them back and forth, like this. Maybe you push both of them down at the same time. Whatever feels comfortable. And then after a few moments of that, drop down to your knees. And then we're going to stretch out our wrists. This is something I forgot to do kind of often. Feels kind of funny, but it will feel great in the long run. So in this seated position, go ahead and put your hands in front of you and just flip them so that your fingers are facing you and you're kind of feeling it right here. And while we're here, everyone, what does a dolphin say when he's confused? You ready? Can you please be more Pacific, as in Pacific Ocean? <laughs> Knee slapper. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> and then after this, go ahead and flip your hands over. And we're just kind of moving around, stretching out our wrists, because I know I do this not very often. Um, you can kind of twist them so that your hands are kind of facing one another and just lean back and forth. Switch your hands a little bit. 
You can also kneel and just roll your hands out like this a little bit so that you can feel it in your wrists. We have a question. Why is the tank so green behind me? Great question. Um, that is just some algae that's floating around in there. Um, we actually, this tank is scheduled to be clean today. Is that correct? Yeah. Um, so they do get cleaned fairly often. Um, but that green stuff that you see, which is kind of all over the rocks and floating around a little bit, just some algae buildup that's in there. Good question. So our next stretch that we're going to do is we're going to pop up on our feet like this. And then we're going to kind of transition into a forward fold. So slowly, slowly straighten your legs and then hinge at your hips and try and touch your toes. Feel free to ask us more questions about sea lions, about the tanks, about the Sea Life Center, whatever floats your boat. And then after doing this for a few minutes, you're going to just pop back down, bend your legs again, and then we're going to transition back to our knees. But before we do that, what did one tide pool say to the other tide pool? Show me your muscles. That is M-U-S-S-E-L-S, -S -S, little, little play on the word muscle there for you to get you through your lunch time. So we are now going to do a cat stretch. So we're gonna, from this position, you're gonna lean back onto your legs and just stretch like this so you should feel it in your shoulders, maybe a little bit in your upper back, just kind of releasing some of that tension. And then after holding this for a little bit, this is what I call a seal stretch. So we're gonna come forward, don't go any farther than what feels comfortable. And just kind of bring your hips to the ground. You may be up here, that's totally fine. Um, whatever feels good for you. So we're sitting up maybe like a seal would. But I have another question for all of you. Have you heard about the restaurant that caters exclusively to dolphins? Well, it only has one customer, but at least it serves a porpoise. It serves a porpoise. One porpoise, one dolphin, or purpose. Just some more good jokes for you there. And then we're going to pop back up. And then if you've done yoga before, this is kind of called a cat and cow stretch. So if you want, you can kind of bring your back up like this and then slowly bring it back down, just kind of moving those joints that we just stretched out. So now we're going to transition back to standing up. So we're back up here. We're going to stretch some of our upper body. So if you want to take your left arm, pull it across your chest with your right arm, pull it in. You're going to feel it in your left shoulder right here. And then after a few moments of that, go ahead and switch to the other side. And then keeping our shoulders moving, we're also going to stretch out our triceps a little bit. Reach your left arm up, pat your back, and then pull your elbow down. So you'll feel it kind of right here. Get that muscle going. Yeah, so we had a question um, that asked if the animals are missing any of the public interaction. And that's a great question. So we have been doing our best to keep them busy, to make it seem like nothing has really changed. And so we'll be providing them. We're still doing training sessions. We're still giving them enrichment, like I mentioned earlier. And we're trying to interact with them as much as possible. Um, it's not exactly the same as it was, but we're still giving them the best care ex as uh, humanly possible to make sure that they kind of don't really notice any of the change that's been happening. So. Great question. Um, from this position, we are going to stretch out our quads. So go ahead, grab your right leg, kind of do that balance. I've heard it's easier to balance if you pretend you're holding a balloon in your opposite hand. You can pretend you're holding a balloon, pretend you're holding a stick, hang on to your opposite earlobe, maybe grab someone next to you. Nope, just kidding, six feet, don't do that. You're gonna grab maybe a wall next to you and then we're going to go ahead and switch to our other leg. Hold that balloon, that stick, that earlobe. I think this one's kind of funny. And then put that leg down. Next joke for you, because I know you're all itching to hear it, is, let's see. Oh, what did the ocean say to the shore? Nothing. Just waved. Knee slapper there for you. All right. 
So go ahead, stand in kind of a straddle position, and then we are going to reach up nice and tall, and then lean over to our right leg, kind of get the back of your leg, that hamstring a little bit, and then put that knee to your nose. And then after you felt this, go ahead and crawl over to your left side and get that stretch going on the opposite. And then come back down to the middle. You can put your hands on the ground. You can grab your elbows if you want to kind of get that deeper stretch. Um, or you can be up here, whatever feels comfortable for you. We're gonna get that going. And then after you've held this, go ahead and slowly come up, kind of one vertebrae at the time. Kind of stretch it out like this. Welcome back to the top. Um, next question for you, where does seaweed look for a job? In the kelp wanted section. Gotcha there. All right, from this position, we're gonna do what I call Spider-Man pose. So we're already here. You're gonna bend over to one leg and just kind of sit and stretch out your opposite leg. So once again, this might feel comfortable. It might feel more comfortable up here. Whatever suits your fancy. And then kind of Spider-Man crawl into the opposite direction. So while staying down low. While we're here, everyone, where does a killer whale go for braces? The orca dentist. I would love to have an orca give me braces. I think that'd be pretty fancy. And then <laughs> you're gonna come on back up to this position and then slowly come up again. So from here, we're gonna keep those legs moving. We're gonna stretch out our hamstrings. So if you wanna go ahead, Kickstand, one foot in front of you. So we're gonna kickstand my left foot forward if I can balance. Bend my right leg while keeping my left leg straight. Just kind of hinge at your waist and you should quickly feel it behind your left leg. Say hello to Pilot. So he is probably, or he is our biggest male cellar sea lion that we have here. At his largest, he has the potential to get up to 2,400 pounds, which is pretty bananas in my opinion. Um, so he's really fun to kind of hang out in front of. He is really interactive, and he's really just, in my opinion, magical to look at. Um, and he looks back. He plays with you. He likes the attention. Um, so he's really fun to hang out with. So go ahead and switch your legs if you have not already. Stretch out that other hamstring. Um, hey, team, why do freshwater fish cry so much? Well, it's because they're just a stream of emotions. Got you there. Hilarious. All right, we're gonna come back up. Um, and now we're just kind of flap your arms out a little bit. We're gonna move them back and forth. I often think that um, our sea lion's flippers look like wings. They kind of help them what looks like fly throughout the ocean, which is a really cool adaptation that they have. Um, and so they take up a lot of space. They help them push the water and move really efficiently throughout. Um, so Pilot's been doing a great demonstration of that behind me. Um, so we're just gonna kind of wiggle and stretch our big sea lion flippers out for a bit. Alrighty. So once again, we're gonna do that forward fold. Um, so go ahead and bend over because I wanna focus on this a little bit more. And then once we've done this, come back down to the ground. Um, hey everyone, what did Cinderella wear when she swam in the ocean? Glass flippers! I bet the pilot wishes that he had some glass flippers to wear to the ball. Pretty exciting stuff here. So my next stretch that we're gonna do is a bit of a runner's lunge. So careful of your knees if you're on a hard surface. Um, feel free to skip this one, so make sure that you're protecting them. But you're just gonna put a leg forward, just kind of push forward. Maybe feel it in your hip flexor. Feel it kind of in your leg that's forward as well. Whatever feels comfortable for you. Maybe push back and get that hamstring going. Um, maybe think about the question, what do you call a lazy crayfish? Well, I'll tell you, it's a slobster. <laughs> I feel weird laughing because I can't hear anyone else laughing. So I hope you're laughing with me. We're gonna transition into our right leg. Stretch forward into that runner's lunge. Feel it in the opposite hip flexor. Push back again a bit. Um, ponder this question, why did the octopus cross the road? 
Well, it's to get to the other tide, of course. Of course. All right, and then one last time, come back into that forward fold. Slowly come up. This time we're gonna take a deep breath in. And then we're gonna take a deep breath out. I'm gonna ask you one more question, which is what kind of hair do oceans have? I bet you got this one. It's wavy. Ha, they have wavy hair. Um, so that's all I have for you. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today at Cal Aquarium at the Alaska Sea Life Center. Once again, we are streaming on YouTube every single day at 12 and 2 p.m. Alaska time. So we hope to see you again in a few hours. Um, we've got some really great programming ahead of us. If you liked this, please give this a like, share this, comment, let us know that you're watching and you're enjoying this, and also let us know what you want to see in the future. So until then, um, once again, my name is Maddie, and thank you so much for streaming.